Ferrari and ivory go together in perfect disharmony. Girl, what in the lesbiana kitty clicking is going on? Let's talk about it. people to have fun let's kick back let's get into a little tea let's not get too crazy but let's enjoy the sip clock that tea but let's get to the chi chi the kiki the the internet bull <laughs> so let me just tell y'all something this is my i live for this type of shit. and when any sound like you on the wrong show baby you can't dance but you can fight don't that qualify you for baddies <laughs> Get them ready. Mm -hmm. They got 10 minutes. On the way up there, I want you to stop by Ballistic and get some of that juice for them, okay? Because I got Um, get some of what juice? Not his juice. Um, what juice is she... And can I go? Can I shop around? Can I watch? Can I make sure that she get the job done? Can I go and see if she need help doing it? Like, what are we getting from Ballistic? In a room where there are no others? What are we doing? <laughs> what is she wearing? And why is she digging in her... Yes, how we see you. We see you looking right at the camera, dicking in your ass. We see you. And then you wearing white at that. Ew, the evidence won't be on her still. Okay. <laughs> what the f is he doing? What is he what is he doing? He just knew this was his moment. Like Lorianne Gibson was gonna watch this and be like, who is that? Booming and cacking all over that goddamn floor. Drew, you know him best, so how do we get at him? We could. Mm. Get him when he's doing confessionists. And they about to do all of this within 22 minutes. Okay. And it's the same episode that the director was hyping up saying, no, I don't want to do 10. I always do episode one, episode five, and episode 10. But I'm going to do episode nine because episode nine is bigger than 10. Don't say that. We got 22 motherfucking minutes left. What's, what's, what's big, sweetie? Well, I miss him so much. I can't wait. Oh. oh. Tell Quinn and T Core we say oh. hello. Yes. Oh. Girl, he probably in there. He probably okay she probably like yes quinn give me that she sound like the top to say quark yes quinn give me that quark that white quark that harry potter boy quark the losing team has to go skinny dipping i'm still a team player and i just decided to go skinny dipping and i went all out that's because you're a nasty mother i know that's right come here for robbie come here come lay with me <laughs> That's all I want to know. Yeah, that was right. for you. That was for you. We talked about it. We squashed it. We put that shit in. This pointless conversation. Heppa, go sit the down. Go sit down. Now she's trying to have conversations. She's trying to have meetings. She's trying to have interactions. She's trying to pull up receipts from two days ago. Girl, go sit down. One person done told you that you too quiet. And now this whole episode, you ain't stopped talking yet. Oh. No. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They got my baby punch. Oh. And they go my new boyfriend. They go my new husband right there. Y'all see him? Right there. Right there. Uh-uh. Ooh. What the f What the f Why? I just know she's saying. Who that dude in the back, though, with the two pigtails? He cute. He cute. I'm a hairstylist, makeup artist. I'm an artist, and I'm a porn star. Top one point five. Yes. I'm showing these bitches how to be the baddest when I happen to show every motherfucking thing. Right. different versions of baddies. Let me get this straight. The porn star. The porn. What the f is that? What the f is. What is that next to her? She looks like an owl. Why are you sitting on me? Five. Four. Three. Two. I seen that bitch coming real quick. Bitch, I ducked her shit real quick. Bitch, what's up? Okay, right now. Why are you shitting on me? Bye. Baby, if you're not watching Young and Reckless, I don't even know what to tell you.
What is going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Shut 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 Chi Chi. And we are back for one of the baddies, Midwest, aka the Ivory Show, T video. Now, this is going to be a little different because we mix in baddies Midwest with some not as Google app T. But obviously, Ivory is on Baddies Midwest, and so it affects Baddies Midwest because they are still filming, okay? So this tea might seem unrelated, but it's not because when you got the host of a Natas Google App show sitting there speaking on one of their contestants that they was in love with, okay, it, it could really affect what's going on over there at Baddies Midwest. Ivory might go and decide to take it out on the newbies or go and decide to take it out on somebody's head. We never know, okay? So this is like a little crossover video. But like I said, if you are not tuned in to Young and Reckless on that as Google app, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't feel like paying for another app, that's fine. Just pay for my Patreon.com slash Scott Santana because I'm no longer telling y'all hoes where to go watch it for free. No, no, come to my, come to my channel. Come to my Patreon and you can watch it with me, okay? But I mean, the show is out there on on Google if you're trying to find it. But nonetheless, we got we got to get into it because I've been telling y'all hoes that I felt like Ivory and Hoopty done messed around. I've been telling y'all that, okay? It's been given Ebony and Ivory tea since she got there. And it don't take a genius to figure that out, okay? But before we get into all of that, go ahead and like this video. He's dumb. He's it. He's dumb. Okay, so um, I don't even know where to start, but we'll start with this tweet. Let's unpack this friendship. It's clear Ivory don't F with Ferrari for real. Ben Avi, actually, yet Ferrari playing the Lulu, crushing on Ivory when drunk gets punched, kicked in a club, and to say, I heard you fight all your friends, but trust her, the math ain't math. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 We get to the van, it's lit. You know the four fantastic bitches. Of course they're not with us, but we're having a vibe. And you know, Ivory, she looking pretty lit. She looking good. And um, I don't know, I just feel like I wanna throw this little pussy back at her for a second. <laughs> right. I wanna watch. I wanna watch. I'm not gonna hold you. Ivory, Ferrari, and Nug. I wish, oh, I wish Heffa would move her ass out the way. Hugh Heffa, please move. Please move. Because that yeah. shot would have been perfect. Like, Hugh Heffa, move. Move. She's just always in the way, trying to always be in the mix. Like, girl, move. Move. Okay, look at Ivory. Look at Hoopty and look at Nug. Okay, what? Are you kidding me? Those are my three girlfriends. <laughs> Those are my three girlfriends. Listen, I'm me being a little gay. <laughs> Happy Pride. Listen, y'all know I'm peeing to the sexual. Okay, listen, I want all three. I want all three. I would, I would like to be a fly on that wall. Okay, I would like to be a fly on that wall. But this ain't about me. <laughs> Personal problems are about to come out. So, oh, wait, we was playing a video. My bad. <laughs> I really love like a, a real. Heffa, move, move. God, she's fucking annoying. Like, gangster, stud, fat neck, dyke bitch. Yo, what? I don't know. She doesn't look a real fat neckish. And I want you to just pay attention to Ivory's face. I don't know. She doesn't look a real. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because pay attention to Ivory's hand. A real, like, gangster, stud. Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't look a real fat neckish, fat neckish. Fat neckish goes crazy. Wait, hold on. I don't know. She doesn't look at Ivory. What's your hand doing down there? Ivory, what is your hands doing down there? <laughs> Do y'all see where her hands at? <laughs> she is like patting her. Oh, 
<laughs> she is giving her the Rihanna treatment. Why is she patting her puss? I, I never noticed that. Because I was too busy focused on Ferrari trying to kiss her in the ivory back and up. That neck is that neck. That goes crazy. Have a move. This is not about you. You want you want shit to be about you so bad. So bad. But I gotta play it just for the purpose of this video. Ferrari really looks like if Ferrari are with a thing, of course I'll respect it, but like, you know, if your whole going, your whole going, it's like I gotta just take my chance. Yeah. She was trying to show out. She Mind you, I were in a whole relationship. See, Hampa twerking on me and shit, and, and she tried to boot up, and I wasn't feeling like at all. Now, mind you, for those of y'all that don't watch the show, Ferrari is the host. This is Ferrari, aka Hoopty. <laughs> and she's the host of the show. Mind you, this is what she on the bus doing with her castmates. Fucking on them. Okay, what in this? I can't say that because it's a ledge. But what in the ditty is going on? So we fucking on our cast member. Like, what we doing? What we doing? What are we doing? Okay, and this is exactly why we call her hoopty. Because it's just like, nothing about you is giving luxury. Nothing about you is giving, like, elite. At all, like it's actually giving pedestrian. Like, if I didn't know, I would think that she was a part of the cast. I wouldn't know that she's the motherfucking host. Chat at this point, she's part of craft services. Like the way that she's fraternizing with the people. And then now you as the host, you're getting upset and jealous. That one of your contestants is twerking on another one of your contestants. If I were with a thing, of course I'll respect it. But like, you know, if you're all going, you're all going. It's like, I gotta just take my chance. She says, stop effing playing in my face. She was trying to show out. She see Hampa twerking on me and shit, and, and she tried to do it up, and I wasn't feeling like at all. So when they got off that bus, when they got off that bus, let me see if they'll play a clip. So when they got off that bus, basically Aubrey was saying, like, yo, I'm not jocking you right now, like you doing too much. Ah 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 ah. ah. Then later on in the episode, we got this scene. Being afraid to you, I'm gonna let you know that, that that's violation. Like, that shit is nasty as fuck. Who scared her? I'm just out there. Scared of that too. Scared of that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to go. <laughs> Mind you, at some point, Ivory, because she had a beef going on in the house, she threw pee on one of the other girls while she was asleep. And so, this is Ferrari calling herself, like, you know, stepping up as a host and, and basically telling her, like, yo, you nasty. Da -da -da -da. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Shout out to the security with the big booty. Everybody over on that is Google Lab got big booties. And I love it. Oh, my God. I'll be in heaven. Um, but horny is after. But we're not going to talk about that. Because <laughs> first, who is not going to come out. But why? Every time I got to watch an Addis Google Lab show, I'm horny after. Oh, I'm just so in love. Listen. Listen. Some of the girls, some of the boys, they be looking right. But... This whole thing turned into a, like a, a lover's crawl, okay? It turned into a lover's crawl, okay? She confronted her about the pee. As a whole, she confronted her about the pee, and y'all see what just happened, right? She... <laughs> she hit her. 
her into the tub. So you know how Krishan hit persuasion into the sink? Baby Ivory hit her into the tub and then kicked her. Okay, one more time. One more time. Okay, so that's the foundation of what we're dealing with here. Okay, that's the foundation of what we're dealing with here. That's the foundation of what we're dealing with here. Then, obviously, we got this clip that I so showed in the beginning where she threatened to smack her. Mind you, one of the cast members who's not related to the situation tries to tell the host, Hoopty, yo, chill out. <laughs> like, she gonna smack you. <laughs> She's trying to tell her like, girl, this is your show and you about to go out looking crazy. You crashing out over this girl. Mind you, this is all after she got punched into the tub and then kicked in the head. So if you can't tell by now by all of this that she is in love with her, that Hoopty is in love with Ivory, baby, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Obviously, this is when the whole SmackDown and all of that happens. And this is why I love Ivory, because she literally looked at production, looked at security, looked at the cameras and said, are y'all ready? Because this is about to be the ultimate SmackDown. I'm just making sure y'all ready. Just making sure y'all, because y'all already know what I'm here for. Y'all already know how I give it up. So I'm making sure y'all ready. Okay, because I'm about to count down and I'm about to be the up. This is why I like but don't like but like Ivory. Why are you shitting on the box? 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 And then of course they started fighting Okay so this is when We gotta get into All of what's happening now And I don't even know when the hell it started But I can tell you that there's A bunch of people that's like uh, Hoopty don't need to be brought back as the host I feel like she does Let her grow into her position Even though I, didn't, I wasn't feeling her episode 1 Because I didn't get how she was supposed to be the host I like her. Let her continue to be the host. Like, she can grow into the position like how Scotty is growing into baddies. Like, just let this be her thing, because it was still a great season. Like, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I still want her to be the host. So, they've been going back and forth on Instagram right now, and I'm trying to collect the tea. Okay? Trying to collect the tea for y'all. Um, I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where to go. Um, But Ferrari did a live about um ivory you know bitch go fight her bitch bitch you want to be all cooped up with tasiki you know bitch go fight her bitch go fight her bitch want to be all up in this bitch tasiki mouth tongue it all in this bitch mouth bitch no go do what they brought you there to do bitch make them proud ho i can't say that i don't agree i can't say that i don't agree oh then liddy bitch liddy like i'm really upset with you Cause bitch, you, I, I didn't even say it. Bitch, I held on to that tea for so long. I held on to that tea. I see it, baby. I held on that. I held on to that. Tea. And before we actually finish this, I'm going to take it on over to the Instagram. I'm going to take it on over to the Instagram because this girl's page keeps getting deleted, but Ivory had leaked messages and phone calls between her and um Ferrari. I don't know much about Liddy, but you know, she was going off about some girl named Liddy. So we about to, you know, get into it before it gets deleted. That's why I was like, yeah, let me hurry up and do this video. Because I got a doctor's appointment to go to in like an hour. But I was like, let me hurry up and do this before it gets deleted. 
Uh uh, let's go all the way back. Okay, mind you, I'm sure that it probably started before this, but somebody um sent Ivory a message saying, like, what's up with you? Okay, send me a thousand from Rose Cut. Thanks, Daddy. If you love me, hello. And then somebody um responded to this message. No, this story post that Ivory had posted saying editing is a weapon. I did not kiss her, bro. Like, see, this is what I'm talking about. And I guess she's talking about like on that bus, she never kissed her. I mean, Ivory, listen, because I'm a, I'm a, yeah, let me do it now before I forget. I'm going to tell you how Ivory is. Ivory is like a nigga. She's one of them emotionally detached niggas. She, I don't know if she likes um Ferrari or if she just likes what she could get out of Ferrari, but it's so evidently clear. Like, it's like, I, we've all dealt with somebody at some point in time where it was like, you could tell they just wanted to use you for sex, Right. And so emotionally detached to the point where they don't even do foreplay. Like, listen to me and listen to me good, y'all. Okay? Hello, women out there. Women, hello, girls. If a nigga does not want to hug or kiss you or cuddle, but he wants to be all up in that box, he don't like you. He don't want you. He just wants to get a nut. Okay? Be very clear. Okay, because y'all be running around acting like, oh my God, this man hurt me and men ain't shit and niggas are The signs be right there and y'all be overlooking it because you be codependent as fuck and you got abandonment issues. Deal with your trauma, hoe. The signs be right there in your face. If you are sitting there planning to have sex with a, a, a man, a boy, and they are not intimate whatsoever, oh, I don't kiss or oh, I don't do that or they don't want to cuddle or like they act all screaming when you touch them, but you know, they better be all up in your guts. They don't like you like that. They don't like you like that. Now, granted, there are some people who genuinely aren't into kissing. I don't even know why you would waste your time with them to be. I know my microphone didn't just unplug. Hold on. Hello? Testing, testing. Two, three, motherfucker. Hello? Okay, it, be, it better be working because I won't be able to tell until the end of this video. And then y'all be leaving comments. Sky, the audio, the audio. What you want me to do now? How the video was up. What you want me to do now? Okay. But back to this. So if you fucking with somebody and they don't kiss, don't listen. I don't even know why you would be with somebody who's not into kiss. Like, I need that. I need that. And when I say I need that, I'm not talking about a fight. I need them kisses. I need that intimacy. I need that touch. Like, I need all of that. All of that. Absolutely not. But if you with somebody like that's like that, they don't like you like that. Okay. And Ivory strikes me as the type that knows that she got hella bitches on her. So it's like, I'm going to use what I can from you, but I'm not going to like be too intimate. I'm not going to get too close in that type of way because either number one, I don't like you like that. Or number two, I'm closed off and guarded for whatever reason. I.e. I can have a girlfriend or I'm not trying to go down that lane with you or that's a little too intimate and I'm not trying to have that with you. Like whatever it is, they just not feeling you and it's not the connection that you think that it is. And so for me personally, I feel like that's a little bit of it. But at the same time, I do. F oh my God, it's constant beeping of horns behind me. <sighs> Always traffic on my block. But I feel like that's part of it. And then also, too, I feel like Ivory was still in a relationship and she didn't want to like be doing too much on camera. But at the same time, it's like Ivory, your fingers were still in her. Like, come on now, Ivory. Like, your fingers was down there. Which is a good time. Listen, listen, listen. I've had, what? You know how many bitches I done fingered in the club? <laughs> y'all be, be, listen, y'all be so gay when y'all get drunk. I be like, get up off me. Get up off me. Okay? I be like, I am out here for niggas. Why y'all, wait, <laughs> wait, get up off me. I be like, oh, Ivory, come here. You so beautiful. And I be like, thank you. And I'll be like, no, you're really beautiful. Thank you. No, like, Aubrey, like, come kiss me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Girl, I can't tell you how many bitches I finger in the club. Y'all be so gay and so nasty, okay? But I say all of that to say, when I say that I know the, the Ivories and I know the Ferraris, I know them like the back of my hand because I grew up, you know, having gay friends. You know, like, so I've seen it from both perspectives. I've seen it from Ivory's perspective and I've seen it from Ferrari's perspective. And I've been in Ivory's perspective and Ferrari's perspective. So I'm telling you, I knew up front that bitch is in love with her. Ivory is not trying to go there for whatever reason. And I think it's because she got a girl and she don't want to do the most on TV because of the girl or whatever. And probably too, she probably don't see her like that. She probably just look at her as like a piece of ass. 
You know what I mean? But meanwhile, Ferrari is overlooking all of the signs and is out here looking dumb, crashing out. <laughs> but that's how y'all always do. Y'all crash out over dick every single day. And then when you're sitting there looking dumb, then you want to grab the pitchforks and, and come together as sisters in solidarity and uh, anti-men and FDs. No, boo. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. So, ciao. <sighs> They say you kissing on bitches and not me is crazy. Girl. So then we get this post right here. What do you where Ferrari had called Ivory at some point? We don't know when, but Ivory had posted, like, you're obsessed in the light, and it's a whole five minute call. This girl is delusional and obsessed with me and won't leave me alone. Now it's Liddy. Girl, you don't even make any sense. What are you talking about. Remember when I told you somebody was saying something a long time ago? You were like, tell me who said it. Tell me who said it. Yeah, now Liddy got something to say because she knew. Tell you who said what? She, she been telling me like, oh, um, I've been trying to tell you that Ivory not your friend. She's only coming up there. to. Um, she told me that she was only coming and fucking with you just so she can get up above you. This and this and that. Like, she's been telling me a lot of shit. Bro, and, and that's I've a told, lie. I've never told nobody that's nothing why, like that's that. That's why it was weird how she had something to say about it. Ferrari, bro, it was, you, bro. You know why you got hit, fool. Stop trying to make it seem like you're like, stop trying to put, put shit on other people. I don't even give a fuck Instagram. about that. That's I mean, not even I'm what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... Lydia. What are you posting? Look, what are you getting out of posting those messages? Like, what is those messages saying? Like, what are you talking about? Well, she's sitting here acting like you ain't never fucked me. So I'm trying to show her. Okay, like and I was telling, bro. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I would rewind if we didn't have to listen to all of that all over again. But, girl, she trying to sit here and act like you didn't fuck me? I would have liked to been there. I would have liked to have saw it. I would like to see it again if y'all choose to come back and re up. What's going on? <laughs> Is there a tape? Is there like an OnlyFans account I can subscribe to? I might, I might have a piece of a $5.99 for them. You know what I mean? Like, mm, you know, that might be one pay-per-view video that I pay for. Fuck. I mean, I told y'all they did, but just just hear her say it so out loud like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I text you those messages. Was when, okay, and I was telling, bro, I text you those messages. Was when, those messages. Listen, those messages was from me telling you. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Like, stop trying to make it seem like I be effing with you like that, fool. You got that ish. Leave me alone. Wait, is Ivory? I whoa. Ferrari got the package. Now wait a damn minute. She can't be talking about the package. Maybe she's talking about an STD or like syphilis or some shit. Oh my god. Why would she say that? Ivory. Why would you say that? And then Ivory, what you're typing is very different than what you're actually saying to her. Because she just blatantly literally said. I'm trying to tell Liddy like you ain't been fucking me, like or whatever she said, and then the video cuts off. No, what it? No, 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 because she confirmed that y'all be smashing. That that like I I've been I've been fucking with you type shit, not fucking with you in that type of way, but I've been. No, 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 no. See, now we playing semantics. Now we now we playing semantics, Ivory. Oh, I've been fucking with you, but not fucking with you in that type of way. No, 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 no. Did you fuck her? Because fucking her and fucking with her is two different things, Ivory. That that's what. We're not about to play semantics. We're not about to do that. Okay, and I was telling, bro, I text you those... No. Yeah, we're going to have to start over. I got to hear it again. What are you talking about? Because, girl, this is tea. This is tea. They are still filming Bad East Midwest, and somehow, somewhere, I feel like this is going to come up, even if it's just a matter of Ivory. Because, listen, all of this is going on while Ivory is in the house with these girls. So, uh, it... it Listen, Ivory is known for a crash out. So in a future episode, we might just see Ivory randomly crash out. And then y'all gonna remember this video and be like, ah, that was probably the day where Ferrari was exposing her. And then boom. Because that happens all the time. Like when we see these shows, and then we just be like, why this person so off? Why they energy so off? Why they da da da? And then we get the background tea, and it's like, ah. So 
you know. <clears throat> and plus, listen, she spoke on Tzatziki name, so we gonna clickbait, clickbait, clickbait. Daddy's Midwest T. What you talking about? Remember when I told you somebody was saying something a long time ago? You were like, "Tell me who said it." Tell me who said it. Yeah, now Lydia got something to say because she knew. Tell you who said me, what? She's been telling me, like, oh, um, I've been trying to tell you that Ivory not your friend. She's only coming up there to, um, she told me that she was only coming and fucking with you just so she can get up above you, this and this and that. Like, she's been telling me a lot of shit. Girl, and, and that's a told, lie. I've never told nobody that's nothing why, like that's that. That's why it was weird how she had something to say about it. Ferrari, bro, it was, you, bro. You know why you got hit, fool. Stop trying to make it seem like you're like, stop trying to put, put shit on other people. I don't even give a fuck Instagram. about that. That's I mean, not I'm even what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, Liddy. what are you posting? Look, what are you getting out of posting those messages? Like, what is those messages saying? Like, what are you talking about? Well, she's sitting here acting like you ain't never fucked me. So I'm trying to show her. Okay, like and this. I was telling, bro, I text you those messages. And when, okay, like and this. I was. She's trying to act like you ain't never fucked me. Girl, I like the video because this tea, this tea. For your kitty out, for the titties out. Give it come because we about to make a million now. Don't get silly now, don't get trippy now. They send it down to get all picky now. Everybody got their ways. Ain't worried what people say. No one tells them to behave. And so these niggas don't pay. Hey. This that don't get scared tonight. This that no good man tonight. This that no keep fan away. This that no he gamble right. This that ball out on a nigga, nigga till his pockets fill it, fill it. Ball out on a nigga, nigga till his pockets fill it, fill it. Don't get scared tonight. This that no good man tonight. This that no keep fan away. This that no he gamble right. This that ball out on a nigga, nigga till his pockets fill it, fill it. Ball out on a nigga, nigga till his pockets fill it, fill it. I want champagne. I want champagne. I want the flu. I want the flu. Girl, my bad. My um, hold on, girl, because it's a lot going on. Okay, my phone has fell under the bed, child. I'm trying to hurry up and grab it before the <laughs> fucking video ends. <sighs> okay, um, proceed. I was telling bro, I text you those messages was from those messages. Listen, those messages was from me telling you that that like I I've been I've been fucking with you type shit, not fucking with you in that type of way, but I've been protecting you. I've been protecting you. I've been being your friend. No, okay, so yeah, Ivory. Like, let's let's okay. So for the people in the back, they were fuck buddies. They never was in a relationship. It was buddy. So that's what Ivory's saying. Like, I never put you in that way, meaning like we wasn't in a relationship. But like, let's not skip past the fact that y'all was still fucking y'all was smashing. Okay. Those with those messages was fool because we had the reunion coming up, and I was just like, bitch, don't talk to me when the air, you feel me? When when the show dropped, don't talk to me at the reunion, bitch. Keep that same energy. That's what those messages is about, bitch. That was honestly me apologizing for putting my hands on you, bitch. And just kind of telling you. That's not an apology, Ivory. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need Zeus to hurry up and start back up that, that charm school I did that they had. Because that's not an apology, sis. You in a way like you, like we understand. Like what the fuck are you posting that for? <gasps> that's what, ooh. That's what I could host. I would love to host a Zeus charm school. I would love to do that. Zeus, let me be the host of Charm School. Or and making it seem like it's something else. What am I making it seem like? Like everybody knows that you got a girlfriend. So what are you talking about? Like, bro, Ferrari, bro, you you get you get everybody know that you got a girlfriend. Did you know that? Did you know that when you was all the hot lap and she was feeling all in your puss? Hmm. Yeah, sometimes, like, bro, everybody know I flirt with you. And I Why you cut it off right there? Why you cut it off right there? Everybody know that you flirt with her and what? And what? Okay, but Ivory goes on to say, like, you're sick and real life fool. They edited out all that ish I was saying to you out the show to protect your image. Your best bet is to F shut the F up talking to me. Just like a nigga. She was probably telling her, I don't even know why you on me like that. You like me. Like, I don't even want you to see you like that. Da -da 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 -da. Herpy, you talk a lot of shit. Girl. So Ivory is claiming that Ferrari 
has STDs. Herbie, you talk a lot of shit. She said booty hard. Ooh, Ferrari, bitch, you a PT cruiser. See, when I first saw this, I thought she was calling her a part-time cruiser. Like, because <laughs> listen, when it comes to gay people, but that's most so specifically like a, a gay man thing. So I was kind of like caught off guard. Like, I'm like, Ivory, how you know about cruising? But apparently she was talking about the car. Do you have BF know you sick or he BF? Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. I thought she had a GF. Okay. Do your BF know you sick or he going to find out like your baby daddy? I ain't know my baby had kids. But I ain't know my baby had an STD. But um, does your BF know you sick or he going to find out like your baby daddy? Oh, wait. Or is that the game? Okay. Because listen, I can't tell when they be. Are we talking BD the baby daddy or BD the Chicago game? I somebody drop in the comments and let me know because the way that y'all be interchanging BD, you don't know he don't speak English, so he probably lost too. Not how fucking immigrants. Listen, I relax, relax. Got a whole kid with an immigrant. Like relax. Um. <clears throat> um. And just because I be having black eyes, don't mean I lost. Y'all should know. By oh, take that off. And just because I be having black eyes don't mean I lost. Y'all should know that by now. My eyes stay black because chin up, chest out. Because at some point, Ferrari was going around saying that Ivory lost. Okay. And we're going to get into that. Oh, I got to hurry up. I got to take a shower. Okay, right here. So Ferrari had came out and said that Alexis gave Ivory a black eye. And Alexis is Big Lex. So Ferrari said, got beat up. Big Lex on Zeus. How you just did me, ho? Didn't she just get that? And then that's why Ivory came back out with her post. This is messy. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if Ivory came into this video. Y'all know, y'all know what the fuck is happening in this bitch. Y'all know. Oh, that is Ivory. I thought it was Tinka. Oh, she's saying that because she got on glasses. Period. This is my little sister. I had to adopt her. <laughs> it's getting hectic in this house. Give him boot camp. It's all of this from what I said and what I said this and what I said that. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Ain't none of y'all my motherfucking daddy. Fuck y'all talking about disqualified. Shut the fuck up. As many motherfuckers that talk shit about Now That's TV and still on Now That's TV till this day. Shut the fuck up. Y'all gonna do that to me because of where the fuck I'm at. You feel me? Like, let's be for real. Everybody see it. Everybody peep. Like, girl, bye. The fuck up. The bitch that talked the most about now that's TV. So told T Lo all types of shit. That bitch was just now on a whole new show. What are you talking about? Nigga, Isaiah went live. He had a rant about now that's TV. He's right back in the office with a now that's TV chain on his neck. Because I said something. Now I'm disqualified and we gotta split the money because of her actions. Bitch, suck my dick, bitch. Fuck him. That's a whole other video that I'll do. But um Yeah, that's a whole other video that I'll do. Um cuz I mm, girl. Girl, look at my baby. Look at my baby. Y'all see my baby? <laughs> With her annoying aggravating ass. Okay? Let's just let's just admire her for a second. Let's just admire her for a second. Okay, do you see the material? Do you see the material, girl? I know you see the material, girl. Look. Turn that off. Look. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all bitches be so gay. <laughs> Y'all be so gay. Oh. Do not start slipping into my DMs. Don't. <laughs> Y'all be so gay. Okay, Um. let's see what else we can find. 
Mm. Oh, we gotta go back to her live. Seek you, don't bitch. Go fight her, bitch. Go fight her. Bitch, wanna be all up in this bitch to seek your mouth. Tongue it all in this bitch mouth. Bitch, no, go do what they brought you there to do, bitch. Make them proud, ho. Oh, then Liddy, bitch. Liddy, like, I'm really upset with you. Not the baby in the background. Because, bitch, you, I, I didn't even say it, bitch. I held on to that tea for so long. I held on to that tea. I see it, baby. I held on that. I held on to that. The bus here. I held on to that tea for so long. Not, <laughs> not you dropping off your kid to school to the bus, but yeah, you sitting here ranting about some ratchet shit. Come on, multitasking. Oh, long. Let me let me be quiet because the bus windows open. I held on to that tea for so fucking long until you said something about me first, Liddy, on the internet. So don't even go there with me. You being real fucking shady. Hey, son. I hate I hate shady bitches. Like if you gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I held on to that tea for so fucking long until you said something about me first, Liddy, on the internet. So don't even go there with me. You being real fucking shady. Hey, son. <laughs> I hate I hate shady bitches. Like if you gonna be for real, be all the way fucking for real. All of this in front of her kid. <laughs> Get in the car. Get in the car. She got two. I'm just finding out a lot about my girlfriend. I'm just finding out a lot. Why? Just I'm get in the get car. Boba tea. Okay, come on, let's go. I don't want boba tea. Anyways, oh boba tea. Why the fuck it? Never mind. In pink, like bitch. Like bitch, stay over there in the cut where you <laughs> belong, bitch. <laughs> bitch, won't you just supposed to be on uh <laughs> Ferrari? Your kids is hungry. <laughs> you sit here ranting and you gonna crash it out. Meanwhile, your kids in the back hungry. Feed them. But you ain't want to do it, bitch. Like, why you keep speaking on? Let's go. I don't want mobile tea. Anyways, oh, and pink, like, bitch. Like, bitch, stay over there in the cut where you belong, bitch. Bitch, won't you just supposed to be on uh your baddies? But you ain't want to do it, bitch. Like, why you keep speaking on me, talking about you happy, ivory dog me? Um, the way I dogged you, girl, what are you even talking about? I'm tired of being toxic with y'all bitches. Pink, we was just cool, bitch. I was just at your house. I was just at your house. Then you had some weird shit to say to me when Yas want to leave the fucking show because she a bitch from the city. That bitch is weak. She didn't even last the fucking day. Like, what? We was just cool, bitch. We literally talked a couple days talking about I'm going to come to surgery with you a couple days before the show, bitch. And then you want to come out the blue. I hate shady shit. I hate shady bitches. Y'all bitches want to make it seem like I'm the bad. I'm the bad person. No, y'all bitches just want my spot. That's was really T. That's was bitch. That's was T. Bitch, my mouth so fucking dry right now. Bitch, I'm so pissed. Well, maybe if you went to go get that boba tea and that food that your kids is yelling about. I mean, you know. I'm never gonna stoop that back down to this level again ever this bitch i really want to make it seem like she won't fuck with me bitch you weird as fuck whole time liddy right oh yeah Woo! <laughs> crash out so they going on rants girl crash out so they going on rants um, Ivory and Ferrari was texting and Ivory was saying what's going on with your show. The cats whack Ferrari. None of them look young and reckless. They all BBL pretty bees. Like what the F is going on? You fake. And don't talk to me when I get this since you act like you don't see me texting you. Oh, that was all on the same day. Oh. Yeah, I definitely clocked Ivory. See, I got her tea. So Ferrari says, shut the F up. I knew you were coming. I haven't had my phone since this morning. I've been told you and don't F and act like that. Where you at? What the fuck? And then Ivory says, who lap you sitting on, B? You doing too much. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell you? Okay. And also, too, Ivory could also, it could also be a little bit of um embarrassment there where it's like, I F with you and I like you, but like, I don't want nobody else to know that. 
So then Ferrari posted, diggle your answer, mama. Like, why bring it up if you ain't going to tell me who said it? So there we go. They sent you to come for me since when, Ivory? You never was effing with me since when? Ivory says, you want to follow me first, bro. That ish hurts me too. You know, I got love for you, B. You was a weirdo this season. <clears throat> Yeah, Ivory is definitely toxic, but Ferrari is stupid. So, <laughs> I mean, listen, this is why Ferrari be forgiving Ivory. Them bees is fucking on a low. I mean, kitty clicking. Worry about your lesbian relationship. Like, there's no way Ivory stepped on your head in the bathtub and you talking about, if she say sorry, then that'll be that. She most definitely said that. She most definitely said, but well, if she say sorry, that'll be it. Not 777 and 111. Listen, hey, spirit, now go book a reading. Somebody just booked a reading today. Are you going to be next? You going to be next? TheAlanaSouls.com. Apparently, the site's still up, child. <laughs> Ish, I would soon. Not going to lie, they both fine. Okay, 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 okay. We not doing this. We not doing this. We we not doing this. We not doing this. Okay. Include wait. Is disrespectful or if it no, let me <laughs> Oh no, I didn't. Wait. No, I didn't. Okay. Wait, did I? Oh, okay. No, I did. Why would they lie like that? I did not report the post. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> Wait, can I still go to her page? <laughs> Try to be cute and creative. Why is it saying I reported the post? I did not report the post. I should now, just for good measure. Okay, if I reported the post, it would not allow me to still report the post. Like, I'm going to need them to stop lying. Anyways, because they all up on my motherfucking girlfriend. Like, back, the, back up, back up, back up. Who lap you sitting on? That's why when old girl tried to twerk on her, Rory got mad. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's most definitely not 777 again. Did y'all go book that reading yet? TheAlanaSouls.com. I read mad because the girl's pretty. When she got mad, Heffa was on her. I screamed. Let's keep going. What else we got? Why Ferrari being messy, girl? You're going to get beat up again. They met yesterday talking about a friendship. <laughs> Before y'all started getting mad, I never said she was wrong. I just said she being messy. Mm. <sighs> the friendship of two warrior women. Listen. Somebody said, honestly, Ferrari is kind of very lame for doing this while Ivory is filming baddies. I think Ivory should ignore her and not let external stuff mess with her because the chances of this fallout actually become a storyline for Midwest are small but still present. It's not going to become a storyline because Ferrari's not over there. What's going to happen is she's going to transfer that energy and take it out on the baddies. Somebody said Ivory and Ferrari part two. <laughs> a girl, young Miami and Ari. I'm I'm telling y'all, y'all be gay. <laughs> y'all be really gay. Okay, listen, I got a whole story time. A whole story time, bitch. Okay, because girls be gay when we be outside. Okay, and I mean the girls and the girls. Okay. Talk about the, the, the little gay boys and the girls, the biologicals. I got a whole story time that I could tell because I remember it was about a month ago. I went out with eh, an old friend, I guess. I'm going to call it Heather Part 2. And um, I'm going to just let this play in the background. <laughs> I went out with an old, um, with somebody that I was, you know, cool with. We call her Heather Part 2. So we went out 
And um, we were supposed to go to a club and make it there by, you know, a certain time. So when I met up with her, she had brought a guy that she had met in Jersey that she knew that she was talking to. But old boy was like way too like shy and like just way too like passive for her. And I was telling him that I was like, yo, you're going to have to like man up. Like she liked more aggressiveness or whatever. And long story short, I kept telling him that throughout the night. Because I just saw how annoyed she was getting <laughs> And then there was one moment Where she had like went into the store And I had told him again I was like yo I'm trying to help you Like boss up Like she likes more aggressive men And he was like aggressive like this Bitch why he Why he grabbed me and started kissing me I said oh Oh Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She comes out the store She like oh So we about to get this party started I said now wait a minute <laughs> And then if that, listen, if that ain't it, girl, right after that, there was this girl with big boobs um, that was just sitting there, you know, like outside, like we all drunk, whatever. And then um, I think I said something to her or she said something to me. Either way, you know, did the whole, hey, 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 oh my God, you're beautiful, da, 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 whatever. So much for trying to get some dick that night. I mean... Because when I say that after that, she was attached to my hip, like attached to my hip, kept making it out with me or over me. Then uh, a couple of days after she had invited me out, I'm thinking, okay, we just going out to chill or whatever. And, you know, went out, met up with her. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I usually pregame because my tolerance is high. Like if I try to drink in a bar, I wind up spending $500, like, because my tolerance is that high. I've been drinking since I was 12. So I'm trying to tell her, like, just go in a bar and, you know, start drinking. I'm going to just pregame with my bottle outside because that's what I do. I always, you know, have a bottle. And then I might get, like, one or two drinks in a bar. And she's like, no, like, I wouldn't have invited you out if I wanted to be in there by myself. Like, I invited you out because I wanted to spend quality time with you. And I was like, wait. <laughs> in my head, I'm putting shit together. But it's not until we sitting down on the stool, pregame or whatever, just kicking it. And then she like, so like, let me ask you a question. I'm like, what's up? She like, how would you feel if like we started doing like more intimate stuff? Like, you know, like being outside or whatever is cool. But like, you know, like what if, you know, you like came over and like, you know, we did stuff at the house and like she started mentioning all of this shit, bitch, to the point where I'm like, this bitch like me. This bitch and likes me, like likes me, likes me. And I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, and mind you, she was gorgeous, gorgeous, talented as well, big boobs, real cute girl, okay, she reminds me so much of, remember, Ke let me say, let me say, now we doing an impromptu story time, <clears throat> remember Kelly from America's Next Top Model, oh, not her, her, is it her? Is it her? Yes, this Kelly. This Kelly. Okay, but let me see. Let me see. Kelly Jacob, America's Next Top Model. I know y'all remember her. I know y'all remember her. This is exact. This is exactly who she remind me of. She remind me of Kelly from America's Next Top Model. A cute girl, big boobs, like real cute, real cute. Whatever. But what threw me off was like, first of all, <laughs> I th listen, I I thought it was just supposed to be like some homie chilling type shit. Like I thought we was just going, you know, because when you go out, you drink, you get a little gay <laughs> with your homegirls, you know, like that, you know, that's a good time. It's a good night. <clears throat> you know, it's nothing to go out and then like, you know, be fingering bitches in the club and kissing and making out and meeting motherfuckers and two man missions and all that, like whatever. But I didn't know that she was like, into me, into me like that, like you know, because usually it's not like you act on what may have happened, like when you were drunk, right? Like I highly doubt. I mean, I, listen, where that where that post go? Where that post go? Right here. I mean, I highly doubt that they went home and fucked. They could have, they could have, but you like Carisha's not texting Ari the next day, like, hey, baby, and yeah, baby, when you gonna come over? Like, like, it don't, mm -mm, that's not how it's supposed to work. Like, that, no, no, like, it, it was a fun little thing, drunk, like a, 
Okay. And so I'm saying all of that to say, I feel like that might be what happened with Ferrari and Ivory. I really do. Like, where it's just like, okay, like we drunk, we kissing on bitches, like we, you know, letting loose. And I can never be with somebody who fucked their friends or still got friends that they, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, but it's fun, like when you like just single in a city girl and you out on a town or whatever. And it's just like, okay, fuck it, whatever. Like we we partying. You know what I mean? Like it's a lituation. Like girls get gay with each other. Like it that's just what happens. That's just what happens. Um, and I feel like that's what happened with Ferrari and Ivory. And the Ivory dug too deep into it. Like this girl that I'm telling y'all about. Because even with this girl that I'm telling y'all about, um, I had agreed and I was like, yeah, whatever, like more intimate vibes, okay, whatever. I, in the back of my mind, I knew what she was hinting at, but like I said, it wasn't registering. Then, um, what really, really had like kind of like turned me off was long story short, one day we were supposed to chill because she had hit me up, <clears throat> like I think like the next day and was like, yo, like, um, let's chill, let's go do something or whatever because my friend has her boyfriend over, um, my roommate has her boyfriend over, or whatever, and like I don't want to hit her all night, so like let's go out and. After I got my bottle, the bitch ended up canceling. Like, ended up canceling. Saying, oh, I'm going to just go to my homeboy house. And that shit had pissed me off. So I was, like, off of, like, for, like, a good, like, week or two. And then she had hit me up talking about, oh, come through. I got the dorm free. Like, my roommate out. I'm like, dorm? 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 Bitch, I am 31. About to be 32. <laughs> like, Dorm? So yeah, that that <laughs> yeah, absolutely not, absolutely not, absolutely not. I wasn't even looking for no kitty in the first place, but damn sure not after you said dorm, dorm, dorm. <laughs> but yeah, I promise you, that's probably Ivory and Ferrari. I bet you that's Ivory and Ferrari. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. Um. I don't know. We're going we're gonna check um we're gonna check Ferrari's Instagram one more time. We're gonna check Ferrari's Instagram one more time. We checked Ivory's Instagram, but I want to check Ferrari's and see what we can find. Damilo. Damilo. Ferrari.xo. And please let there be some tea. Oh, I just be getting up here telling all my business. Wait, did somebody delete her um page? Or is that a backup page? Bitch, I spelled it wrong. Oh, look at my girlfriend. But not my girlfriend if she really got the package or STD. Uh-uh. She's so cute. She is so cute. Minus the bullshit, I really live a good life and I'm super thankful. Um, what a TA. Let's check TikTok real quick. <laughs> Wait, what? You're black, so you're naturally ghetto and ratchet. What? Black is not black is not synonymous with being ghetto and ratchet. But at the same time, nine times out of ten, ghetto and ratchet is black because of urban areas. So y'all gotta y'all gotta stop. Black and ghetto is not synonymous with black. However, because ghetto and ratchet comes from urban areas, and nine times out of ten is black people living in an urban area. There we go. But black is not synonymous with ghetto and ratchet. Hey, I got like 20 minutes left on my lunch break. Remember my price? Oh, period. They fucking good. Girl, they so good. I forgot my class. Can y'all stop staring in my face? Is this... Is this supposed to be satire? Because I'm not laughing. Is this supposed to be satire? Come on. What's going on with the comments? TikTok. Hey, I 
No, we're going to see what the hell that's about before we end this video. Oh, I got to hurry up. I'm about to be late. Oh, I got to go wash my ass. I'm on my way to a, um, I got to get a CAT scan done because I'm having face surgery. Don't worry. I'm not going to look like Lil' Kim. Don't worry. And um, it's FFS. Like, so, you know. Mm -mm, little touch ups, and um, but that's after my electrolysis appointment. I gotta go to an electrolysis appointment. I'm finally handling it like after like seven, eight years of talking about it. Yeah, I gotta go to CVS. I gotta go get some like lidocaine, some numbing cream put on my face. Girl, this shit not working, so I'm gonna just favorite it and we're gonna come back to it in another video because TikTok is TikTok is down right now, I guess. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta hop in the shower. But I'm about to go to, like I said, I'm about to go to my electrolysis appointment. Um, shout out to my insurance because they take care of everything that I need. Oh, hold on. Hey, I got like 20 minutes left on my. So I just want to know, what's that satire? Seafood boil on your lunch break is crazy. No to the I'm black, so I'm naturally ghetto. I'm the type that would have been like, what's it to you when she acts is that good? She was trying to be funny. Yeah, because look at what he's doing. Oh, Not 777. Hey, spirit. Go book a reading host. Love him. I need a friend like him. What? Okay. Okay. Okay, but if somebody call y'all, okay. Then all hell will break. Okay. Okay, we'll come back to that in another video, though. As far as this topic, yeah, I'm done. Like I said, I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, I'm starting my electrolysis journey on my face. Girl, they had me grow out my hair. And oh my god. Yeah, because I mm, I need this skin to be smooth. Okay. I'm not trying to be out here looking like Netta. Okay, because I keep shape. Mm -mm, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Okay. So, you know, electrolysis is just like permanent hair removal. So, you know, we getting rid of a couple of things, a couple of things. Because y'all be like, oh my God, Sky, yeah, yeah, your skin looks so perfect, girl. I would be out here looking like Bobby Lights and Natalie Dunn on, on the Baddies Caribbean reunion part one in 4K. Stop playing. Uh uh. Uh uh. Okay. Mm mm. Mm -mm. We got to clear up some um, shadows and whatnot. Because even though we know what's now, we can't forget about what was. And we got to we gotta take care of that. We got to take care of that. Okay? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tired of shaping. <clears throat> Tired of shaping. But um, enough about me. Y'all done got two in my business this episode. Two in my business this video. Patreon.com slash Scott Santana. So y'all can get, in some, get into it with some more. I'll see y'all in the next one. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the love, love, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the love, love, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the love, love, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the love, love, bad, bad. Fuck it up, love the hottie cutting up. Now these niggas swimming up, but wasn't when I'm coming up. Get up, love the hottie cutting up, now these niggas